Let's create your online course using 100% free software and the minimum amount of the best tools you need and gear to make an awesome online course. So timestamps below along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our online course launch playbook to help you getting running and profiting as quickly as possible. So of course, every online course starts with an outline, right? What the heck are we going to write and include in our course content? And so for this, I like using Google Docs, kind of an obvious choice, right? It's free, of course, you could use whatever word processor you want. And as you can see here, I like starting off with making a quick little outline of what my students want to achieve, what is getting in their way, and then how best to start going about giving them that information that they need through a really in-depth outline. So this is what our course outlines look like. And then once this is done, you, as we scroll through, you can see that I actually like to script out our entire course. And so you don't necessarily have to do this, but I really like using Google Docs for this because if I'm collaborating with anybody else, they can drop in any research that they've helped me with. No fancy whiteboard or mind mapping software needed. Just use a simple Google Doc, make an outline, and start writing out your script or some key points for when you start recording. Now, speaking of recording, we won't quit get to the gear yet, let's talk about graphics. Now, this is something that is really easy to overthink. The good news is you don't need any of these services to create your online course. In fact, you can just use, again, the free version of Google Slides. We do have Google for Workspace, but it's the same feature set. As you can see here, these slides are super simple and all your slides are designed to do is to help deliver and illustrate the information. So we don't need excessive graphics. If anything, you're being judged on the content and your students' ability to achieve what they want, not necessarily that you've you know, spent $300 to get some fancy graphics for your course. Obviously, if you're designing and that's part of your actual course content, then yeah, you probably have to worry about that. But for the rest of us, not so much. Text-based slides and a couple of icons here or there is more than enough to illustrate the key points of our course. Now, after you have your outline and presentation down, you probably want to create some downloads, worksheets, templates, uh, workbooks. And so you can, of course, use Google Docs again. This is one of our templates. It sells really, really well. Nobody complains that it's a basic Google Doc. And the advantage of using something like this is it's always live, right? So I can easily go in, make a couple of changes, send out an email, and just like that, the template has been updated. Now, if you want to get a little more fancy, then you can use something like Canva to create free worksheets. And so here's an example of some of the types of worksheets you can create inside of Canva. And I'll leave a link in the cards and the description to a full-blown guide that goes through how to create your worksheets in Canva and add drop-down menus and editable fields so you can actually make your PDFs interactive, something a lot of course creators just skip. And again, you can use the free version of Canva and another free software to do this. So, so far, we've outlined our course, we've created graphics, we've created workbooks and downloads, all using free software. And we'll even be able to start to create and host and sell our course for free as well. This next part though, this is the only part where you're probably going to have to pay for something because you can't get mics and cameras for free unless you're an influencer and you're going to be doing a bunch of uh, reviews for them. So when it comes to your course equipment, the good news is whatever device you're watching this on is probably enough to get started. And all you need is a laptop and a microphone. Now, your audio is going to be the most important part of your gear, right? In fact, you don't even need to show your face, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. So what you're listening to right now is the Rode Lav. It's about 50 or 70 bucks, depending upon the day and how Amazon's uh, sales are going on. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of echo in the room, but what you can do, even if you are just using your plain old phone, you can actually use a sheet to reduce all of the echo. So when I was living over in the Philippines, I was in downtown Manila, it was really, really noisy, pretty much 24 seven. And so what I would do is I would take this lav and this phone, and of course you need an adapter now because nobody gives you a headphone jack anymore. But with the adapter, you can put either a sheet over your desk, you're gonna look like an idiot, it's okay. Or you can use a comforter and it's going to dramatically reduce all of the echo in no matter whatever room you're in, and it's going to take away a lot of the background noise. 
And guess what? Your course students are never going to see you doing that kind of ridiculous thing anyway, and they're only going to be judging you on how good your ultimate audio quality is. Now, when it comes to actual live, if you need to record live demos or for some reason you insist on showing your face, then if your phone was made in the last two years, you're good to go. In fact, this channel started with just using a phone that was like a 2016 model, and I only got complaining about uh, poor lighting, right? But a phone and you just have the window in front of you for natural light, and you're going to have more than enough quality to go through your course. And in fact, I highly recommend not showing your face as much as possible because I have some courses that we created in 2017 that are still selling and going, and I can virtually guarantee people would not be as happy with the content if they knew that it had been that long period of time. But sometimes you create videos or you create training and it doesn't really matter, like the information is still valuable, but sometimes people just judge the fact that they can tell maybe like me, I have less hair, I look a whole lot older, and so maybe they just get upset that they feel like they've been gypped because it's not quote unquote new, even though the information's the same. Now for one of the most time consuming and arduous parts of creating your online course, the screen recording and the editing. So obviously if you're doing any sort of live recording, you're good to go. You can also, well, you can just skip ahead to the editing section, but what you can do for your screen recording, of course, we wanted to make sure that these were all free tools, Camtasia and ScreenFlow are great, but Canva has recently come out with a feature to record your screen and yes, it is free. Now there are some limitations on how long those screen recordings can be. So guess what? Just cut them up into little pieces and you can still use it with the free version. So you can do all your screen recording with Canva and you can also record your webcam as well. So if you wanna do some sort of live element where people can see your face, you have that option as well, which leads us into video editing. Even if you don't use any sort of screen recording, you can also use Canva to do all of your video editing, again, on their free plan. You do not need to go <laughs> download DaVinci Resolve, learn Adobe Premiere, or iMovie or Final Cut Pro. Those are all pretty much overkill for what you need to do. But I guess if you have a Mac, you already have iMovie, so you're good to go there. But when it comes to editing for free, go ahead and use Canva. It's more than enough to, of course, create some really great looking videos. And you have a bunch of free graphics and templates in there already, and you can add animation. So you can get overly fancy if you want using the free version of Canva a lot easier than trying to learn an editing software just to launch your online course. And once all of your editing is complete, it's time to host your online course. Where are we going to do it? A free software called Sesemi.io. So here's an example of what the membership site could look like. You do have some limitations on the free plan. You can't create as many courses as you want, but you can get started. You can create as, about as many modules as you want, and you can actually upload your content. So you're not going to have to pay another service to host your videos or try to do the whole YouTube unlisted thing, which never looks good inside of a membership site. And as you can see, it looks nice and modern. You can of course set all this up for free. So I'll leave a link in the cards and the description to a super deep dive guide that goes through A to Z and everything in between setting up your membership site inside of Systemi.io using the free plan. And then of course, we've done all of this work it's time to sell. And this last one on our list is going to be Systemi again, because not only does it allow you to host your online courses, it also allows you to create something called a sales funnel. So this is going to be a sales page. You're gonna be able to collect credit card information. You can do some advanced automations like upsells and have little check boxes on your shopping cart. So someone can click a checkbox and automatically have their order upgraded. So it has all the features you need, including email marketing. And again, link in the cards and the description description to that super deep dive guide that goes through everything you need to know to setting up your membership site and creating this entire funnel process so you can actually sell. So at the bare minimum, the only cost you have here is $60 on a microphone and all of the software is taking care of you for free. So hit that like button, subscribe for more digital course building guides just like this one. Make sure you check out the link in the description to our online course playbook that will walk you through this entire process and even has a strategy to actually actually validate and test your course ideas before you slave away making them. And until the next, keep building the business you love.